All right, calculus, these are the 10 examples I plan to do on Thursday the 3rd. I'm probably not going to get through 10 in class, so here they all are. Section 3.5 continued uh, the last day with this type of implicit differentiation. So if you're gone, uh, definitely have these down. Find dy dx, which is y prime. So here's the... Um, and I am eventually going to stop writing this as y of x towards the end of this video. We're just going to see how it goes each time. We don't need to write y of x anymore. All right, so you have 2 times root x plus root y equals 5. Well, that is 2 times x to the 1 half. Then I'm going to rewrite this as y of x to the 1 half equals 5. I'm going to take the derivative of this which actually that is not, I made a boo-boo as you can see. Um, one and a half times two, that's just one. And I will correct that. So that is just x, that's just x to the negative one half. So that's one over root x, okay? Here is good, bring down the one half u to the one power less, then take the derivative of that u with respect to x y prime of x equals zero because the derivative of five is zero. All right, so I'm just rewriting things here. y prime of x, which is y prime is gonna stay north, and then two over the square root of y. That's what that's gonna become. Negative exponent ships it south, okay? So I moved this over to the other side. It's now negative one over root x. And what I would do to solve is I would multiply both sides by 2 root y. Okay, so that is a totally acceptable answer, or so it's not this, or um, because you're dividing root y over root x can be written as the square root of y over x, and you can just put the 2 on the outside there. So 2 needs to be there. I definitely, I made a boo-boo with that. 2 gets canceled by the power rule there. All right, so let's do number 2 here, example 2. You have x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 5. Again, I'm going to rewrite y as y of x. Uh, this y as y of x squared equals 5. I simply take the derivative of 2x. So in the blue, I'm starting to take the derivative. Here, derivative of 2x, or x squared is 2x, derivative of 5 is 0. Here I have the product rule, derivative of the first times the second, so 1 times y of x plus the first times the derivative of the second, derivative of y of x, just y prime of x. Again, that is the derivative using the product rule there. Then the derivative of u squared would be 2 times your u times the derivative of u. All right, so 2y of x times the derivative of y of x. Again, that's just the chain rule. Anytime I see y of x, y of x, I write y, and then anytime I see y prime of x, I will write y prime. All right. Then I'm going to move the 2x and the y over and I'm going to divide both sides by x plus 2y. After I factored, you know, I factored out. Oh, I kind of actually did everything at once here, so let me explain that. I factored out the y they had in common, leaving me with x plus 2y. That's how I got that there. Then I divided by x plus 2y. All right, so those are going to happen early on. Should definitely get to those then. Oh, man. Got an interesting one in three. Might just save three here. So how in the world? There's three. Then I rewrote it. As x plus y of x to the one half equals one plus x squared times y of x squared. So wow, the derivative of one is zero. That's easy. Here, let's talk about the chain rule. Bring down the power, one half u to the one power last times the derivative of u. Well, the derivative of this u would be one plus y prime of x. So that's actually not terrible. A lot of algebra and calculus, folks. That's why it's very important to be perfect at algebra. All right. 
Here's the product rule, derivative of that first one here times the second plus the first one times the derivative of the second, which would be 2y of x times the derivative of y of x. Anytime I see y of x, I'm going to rewrite it as y. Anytime I see y prime, I'm going to write it as such. That's what I did here on the right side. Now the left side, look at what I did. This is um, 1 over the square root of this now, and 2 would be in the denominator, plus, let's see, and that's because I distributed that to the 1, so it's not really changing it. Then I distributed all of this to the y prime of x, which means y prime would stay north, while this 2 times the square root of this would stay in the denominator. Next. I moved this one with the y prime over and then this one over there to the left, giving me that. I factored out the y prime that these both have in common, leaving me with that. Doesn't look good, but leaving me with that. Then I divided both sides by that. All right. And that is my answer. They almost look to be opposites there, but they're not. All right, so that had a lot going on. Number four, y cosine x equals x squared plus y squared. I'm um, going to rewrite that as y of x times cosine of x equals x squared plus y of x squared. The um, so there we go, the derivative of this should have done that that is the product rule which uh, says derivative of the first which is y prime of x times the second plus the first times derivative of the second derivative of cosine x is negative sine equals <clears throat> derivative of where are we at derivative of x squared is 2x plus we've seen this a bunch Okay, so a lot of you are going to be like, oh, that's 2y, y prime. I can just write it right away, and we'll be doing that soon. Derivative of y of x squared would be 2y of x times the derivative of y of x. Anytime I see y of x, I rewrite it as y. y prime of x, I re rewrite it as y prime. So I moved this over there and that over there. Factored out the y prime that they have in common. Divide both sides by cosine x minus 2. Y minus 2y. All right, so that is one that we're probably going to do. Then, so even if we don't just have these down, we might not get to these fully. We'll see e to the y sine x is equal to x plus xy. I'm going to rewrite that as y of x. Rewrite this as y of x. So I have the product rule here a few times. Derivative of any e to the u is e to the u times the derivative of that exponent, which would be y prime of x. So that's derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of sine, which is cosine, equals the derivative of x is 1 plus the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times derivative of second. Derivative of y of x is y prime of x. Anytime you see y of x, rewrite it as y. y prime of x, write it as y prime. Okay, I moved this y prime over, and I moved that over there. And I did not. That would be a negative now. So let me make that correction. <clears throat> All right, then I factored out the y prime these two have in common. And then divide both sides by what's attached to y prime. All right, then, oh man, take a look at six. Six is the last one that will write as this whole y of x, I think. We have the quotient rule involved here with implicit differentiation. 
All right, so again, last time here, anytime I see uh, y, I'm going to rewrite it as y of x. Well, the right side is easy. Derivative of this would be 2y of x times the derivative of y of x, and then plus 0. So that's, that's it. Left side requires the quotient rule, which is low derivative of high, 2x minus high derivative of low, which is not that bad, actually. Oh, no, derivative of low. You guys can see I made a boo-boo here because derivative of the bottom is not x plus y prime. It's 1 plus y prime. You can see how easy it is to go too fast. Derivative of low is 1 plus y prime. So let's... All right, so um, instead of writing y of x, I wrote y. So this is 2x squared plus 2xy minus x, this is really going to change the answer, <laughs> minus x squared now, minus x squared y prime, that's what y of x is, equals 2y y prime. Okay, so this is actually going to give me now x squared. All right, and then plus 2xy minus